At TSE, I was a PPD student, Public Policy and Development. Um, I went on to do the ODI Fellowship Scheme. So it's a program that places economists in uh, governments of developing countries for two years. Uh, so I was in Haiti for two years working in the government there and then I stayed in Haiti, not with the ODI anymore, but just to stay another year and I just came back from Haiti very recently. My future project is I, I intend to keep working in the same industry and in development. I want to keep advising governments. So right now I'm looking to apply for the Tony Blair Institute for Global Change. What they do is kind of a step up from uh, the ODI, so they keep advising governments uh, but they work more with the presidents, the prime minister, so they work on development strategies and uh, and really trying to first and trying to help these countries uh, build their economic growth, uh, you know, and leverage that through effective governance. I would say that my second year at TSC in PPD was the most important for me, especially the public policy classes. This is where courses. This is where I'm. Um, I'm going to focus now is more on public policy. So I would say um, the trade course was really interesting, um, and anything related to policy again. It was surely an asset to get into the ODI fellowship scheme. They were looking for French speakers as well as the, at the time. And they didn't know so much about TSC because they're really used to British universities. So um, three of us from PPD actually applied at the time. Uh, so now they're used to students applying from TSC. So uh, TSC now has a good name uh, within the ODI uh, and probably bit by bit in the development industry as well. I would say if you're trying to do uh, the ODI fellowship scheme afterwards and if you want to work in development, try to get an internship between your M1 and your M2 or even uh, at the end of your M2. Uh, try to get hands-on experience in a developing country. Um, either humanitarian, uh, although you know, there's a wide over range of things that you can do in a developing country which doesn't have to be humanitarian. So yeah, be, be careful about getting some experience before getting out of your M2.